Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market session. US markets were up 1.3% and even European markets were up uh, 1%. As we had a slightly better data coming out from China, the Chinese GDP grew at almost 8.1% versus expectations of 83 uh, This is lower but overall people were skeptical about the kind of growth that China would display. Also friends, uh, US uh, quarterly earning numbers uh, season has started and initial numbers were very positive which has helped the sentiment today when we look at the asian markets they are also up about one to one point two five percent except chinese markets uh, which are flat uh, if you look at the flows friends uh, we had some kind of a buying by the uh, foreign institutional investors to the tune of 136 crore in the cash market and even the domestic institutions were buyers to the tune of 237 crore uh, on that note uh, let me invite uh, nandish to take us through the derivative inputs Hi Nandish, uh, we had seen some kind of a bounce back in the market, 5200 is acting as an important support and uh, looking at the SGX we would uh, open about 45-50 points higher. So what is your reading of the F&O markets? Uh, see, I, I remember last time I was uh, interacting with you around 5,400 levels and I was expecting that we have seen a major unwinding in the open interest on the Nifty side. And But uh, you know, what's the important observation we have seen that you know, 5,200 put option mean the active strike in the highest number of shares. And uh, that level acted as a very good support, even 5,150 as a 200 demand which also acted as a psychological uh, good levels. So again we have seen that you know, Nifty open interest has started building uh, uh, interest uh, uh, position wise and you know, we have seen that you no. Know, the cost of carry has uh, started declining. So how it, the things work out uh, generally, you know, uh, past uh, last three, four years data what I was observing. So it happens like that, you know, whenever we have seen unwinding and then we see the aggressive building of the short positions in the market. So at that time, normally markets consolidate and then we see a uh, higher moments uh, due to the short covering. So I feel that, you uh, know, 5400 is a crucial level. So on a higher side, so that is plays a resistance. So unless until we are not closing those levels, we will consolidate in the range. And uh, I'm expecting that you know, once we surpass 5,400 and close above that, then we may see a higher targets. Right, and any specific observations on the open interest front uh, based on the last couple of days? We have seen you know, put call ratio, particularly again we have started building uh, uh, positions on the put side. That is a positive sign. Last month we were hovering around 1.04 and now uh, it's around 1.17, 1.14. Uh, uh, so no, that's a good sign. We have seen a very good positions building up on the put side. So no, it's indicating that no, uh, going forward we'll continue to see buying uh, if we see a sharp fall from the current levels. Right, Nandish, also today Infosys is uh, likely to announce the numbers and the annual guidance and I believe that we had already rolled out a strategy. So any update that you would like to share with us? Yeah, Infosys, uh, we have seen a very good open test building up on both on the call and the put sides indicating uncertainty from uh, 3 to 4 trading session. We have seen the implied volatility was cooling off in the counter but no, uh, yesterday previous trading session uh, we have seen a very good uh, IV shooting up and uh, no positions are building up. So I feel that no, there will be a larger move uh, by around 3 to 4 percent No, as uh, I was expecting. Expecting. But uh, uh, what the update on the update front, what I feel that you no, know, if Infosys uh, doesn't give such kind of move, then uh, we have formed a strategy which was you no know, 2950 call option buy and you no know, 2800 put option uh, buy. So no, I'll advise to close down the put option and uh, continue holding the call option. Right. Also, Nandish, if there are any other specific trading opportunities based on the FNO data. Uh, for intraday perspective, we have identified three stocks. Uh, one is uh, HDFC. HDFC is looking good. Uh, the stop loss plays at around 666.60. IDFC is looking good. The stop loss will be around 133.30. And even IDBI Bank is looking good from a positional perspective. You now, if we close above 110 levels, one can uh, look out for a higher target of 115 to 120, and one can uh, build call option of one can buy call option of 110 or 115. Right, Nandish. Thanks a lot for that update. Friends, in terms of the domestic news, yesterday we had the IIP numbers which came in at about 4.1% against expectations of 6.7% which is definitely a bad news as far as overall uh, industrial growth is concerned. Also friends, for January, uh, the revision took place in a, in a dramatic fashion and as against the actual number of more than about 6.5%, that number was revised to about 1.9% which clearly means that uh, there is some kind of a slowdown in the industrial activity and which is uh, definitely uh, going to be an uh, important indicator for the RBI's policy meet and there might be a rate cut because of that. Also friends in terms of other news, uh, the Max India yesterday uh, there was a press conference and where they've said that the uh, New York Life is going to exit uh, the Max New York Life uh, 
uh, the 26% stake that they are holding and uh, this is going to be bought by the Japanese company Sumitomo and also there is going to be another uh, about 8.5% uh, stake buying uh, by the Sumitomo into the company which is valuing the Max New York Life at almost 10,000 crore which is definitely a big positive for Max stock. Remember the stock was up already for the past two days from about 181 or thereabouts it has gone up to about 205 levels. Also friends we had a good amount of action yesterday in the sugar stocks as again the production data that were released uh, there was a downward revision there and because of that we had seen a major action across the sugar stocks like Sri Renuka Sugar, Balrampur Chini uh, and some of the other ones. Uh, also in case of Sri Renuka there was a buy report by a prominent brokerage house uh, giving a target price of 45 rupees so expect some more action in Sri Renuka today also. Friends uh, in terms of other news uh, IVRCL is likely to sell about 37% stake in uh, IOT Utkal Energy and the stock has remained quite speculative after the SL group uh, picking up a stake uh, in the uh, company and there might be some more movement and the important levels for IVRCL are 71, 72 on the support side and about 77 to 79 uh, on the way up. So for traders this could be a good interesting stock to look out for. Friends coming to Infosys, uh, our expectations for the quarterly numbers are that there is going to be a 1.4% cut in the top line to about 9165 crore and the net profit uh, there is going to be a uh, degrowth of 2.4% to about 2316 crore. Friends what is more important is that the annual guidance that the company will give out and the general expectations are that the guidance would be about 12 to 14 percent however since last couple of days we are also hearing <coughs> that either Infosys would give a guidance which would be somewhere close to about 10 percent or they might also uh, do away with the practice of giving the annual guidance so the overall uh, sentiment towards Infosys is uh, slightly weak and uh, just to give you a technical levels <coughs> uh, the support for Infosys is at about uh, 2725 and 2670 so if the stock breaks this support then there could be a quick about 40 to 50 rupees uh, cut in the stock price and on the way up the resistance level is about 2820 to 2875 so with those remarks uh, let me end the session here have a nice trading session see you tomorrow at the same time